there are 195 countries in our world and there's one country I've always dreamed to go to. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It seems so hard, almost impossible to enter the country as a casual traveler like me. And out of the blue in September 2019, KSA announced that they would open their doors to foreigners from more than 50 countries. So I applied for the visa online and a few weeks later I found myself inside the country I never thought I would see with my own eyes this soon. As one of the most conservative countries in the world, with a lot of rules and different traditions, KSA had quite a bad reputation thanks to the media, which made everybody think that the kingdom has only two things to offer, its holy places and a lot of oil reserves. So I decided to go there without any judgement and spend four weeks there to find out what the kingdom really has to offer to its visitors. And this is what I found out. The culture. There are a lot of rules and customs which don't always make sense to other people with a different background, but those rules still have to be followed and respected. I could have never imagined to enter a restaurant from a different side than my male friends, or even let life stop around me for five times a day because it's prayer time. Driving around for hours and only seeing desert and camels or drinking boiled coffee that tastes more fragrant than any other coffee I ever had. People are dressed differently and so are the laws different. For me, the life in Saudi Arabia is very different but also very interesting. Many things there work differently and so does traveling. It's completely different than in any other country I've traveled before. My biggest passion is traveling and making videos out of the things I've seen on my way. And at this point I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting my work. Skillshare is an online community that basically allows you to learn any skill that you want. They have endless topics and courses around filmmaking, photography, design, marketing and many many more. Right now I'm taking a class on film lighting to learn from professionals how to do it the right way. No doubt, lighting is an essential part of beautiful cinematography. There are 22 video lessons and a class project which gives me the chance to improve myself with the help of the teacher's feedback. And Skillshare wants to give you two months for free to be part of this amazing community. You can find the link in the description box to get access to your premium membership to explore your full creativity. If you want to continue after those two months for free, it's still very affordable and it's an amazing chance to improve yourself and to become better at whatever you've always wanted to achieve. And at times of coronavirus, it's also really great to be able to do this from home. Just saying. Very hospitable and helpful people. When things are different, we normally tend to feel insecure or not really knowing what to expect. And for me, that was the case with Saudi Arabia. I had no idea about Saudi Arabia's people. Well, people are really nice and I didn't expect that people in this country are so, so kind that they would invite us to their homes, show us the greatest hospitality. Uh, we are staying at their home right now helping us when we didn't even ask for it and becoming friends in a very short time. KSA is home to a very diverse and mixed population. As diverse as the people are, so is the food. A lot of Yemeni, Indian, Turkish and Persian dishes can be found all over the country and it's very, very delicious. Great nature. Yes, more than half the area of Saudi Arabia is desert, but the other half is not. And whatever you prefer, the nature is stunning and can range from mountains to the ocean, from hot and humid to cold weather. There are camels and monkeys, flowers and coconut trees. Safety. The country is safe for travelers. I am nobody who can fully judge this, but I know that I would go back as a solo female traveler because I never felt really uncomfortable. People are very respectful in general and always try to help. Men can be a little bit too curious sometimes and cultural differences can be overwhelming, but in general there's no need to worry too much as a female traveler. The most dangerous part about traveling in KSA is definitely the traffic, as there seems to be no rules and everybody drives like a mad person. There is no country in this world that piqued my curiosity as much as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
and it's not only the fact that the mindset the nature and the culture is so different than any other country in the world it's more the fact that saudi arabia was so close to tourism and didn't allow travelers like me to explore this mystical land forget all the stereotypes about saudi arabians and please delete that image you have in your head when you think of the kingdom because it's everything else than that i never got invited into a shy's house before I never had a sip of this yellow deliciousness of Arabic coffee before. I've never seen men with flowers in their heads and I never had an insight into a woman's mind which is hidden under a niqab. If you go to Saudi Arabia you will understand how welcoming and nice the people are and Saudi Arabia introduced me to all these things without asking for it. It's 11 p.m. I'm waiting for my mother to arrive. I think she will arrive around 6 a.m. So I decided to sleep at the airport 